Local rivals Nantes and Gangon met at the Stade de la Beaujoie on Sunday with both sides aiming to ease their relegation worries. Gangon made the two and a half hour trip to the old capital of Brittany aiming to snap a three match losing streak. The hosts meanwhile had won just once since the turn of the year leaving them looking over their shoulders at the drop zone but were boosted by the return of their coach Michel de Zakarian to the touchline following hip surgery. Nantes needed just four minutes to take the lead. They attacked down the right. And although an attempted layoff was initially cut out, Jordan Veritu's subsequent header made its way all the way through to Serge Gakpo, who swept the ball first time just inside Mamadou Samas's far post. A clinical strike from the Togolese striker. That is fourth goal of the campaign. A little bit lucky with the header bouncing into Gakpe's path to take nothing away from superb finish that left Samasa completely helpless. One nil to Nantes at half time. A good start for the Canaries on their coaches return to the dugout. The hosts also on track for a first win without striker Philip Djordjevic who was still sidelined with an knee problem. Bunched to ponder though for Gangor coach Jocelyn Guvenik, whose side came in just five points clear of the bottom three. Nantes were forced to call upon third choice goalkeeper Maxim Dupain with regular custodian Remy Ryu out injured and reserve glovesman Owen Zelazny out of favour. He made a fine save to deny Stephen Langill. Dupain was then called into action once more this time to make a good low save from an almost identical position. Langill again the player to be thwarted by the France under 20 World Cup winner. The play sticking out his leg. And turn the effort behind and keep Nantes 1-0 up. Gangon simply couldn't find a way past the 21 year old as it ended 1-0 to Nantes. Serge Gakpe's early goal proving enough for the home side. We're now 10 points clear of the drop, a fourth defeat in a row for Gangon leaves them with still some work to do. They're only five points above the bottom three with five matches still to play.